Hi, I'm Alexandra, project manager at Riverdy, and today I'm going to tell you very briefly about a capacitive touch panel techno technology, its working principles and the structure. For sure you know how popular these days are capacitive touch panels. You get them in your smartphone and everyday devices such as, for example, coffee machines. But do you know how they are built? Well, there are three main components of capacitive touch panel. There is cover glass, touch sensor and controller board. So let's start with the cover glass. The cover window is the mechanical protection as well as the aesthetical window of your design. It could be made from the synthetic material like the PMMA or polycarbonate, but then it's soft and scratches easily. It could be also made out of glass. That could be chemically strengthened glass or thermally tempered. That all depends on the thickness. Please remember that in Reverdy you can customize your glass in various thicknesses from 055 mm up to even 10, 15. You can change shape, you can change logo, you can add through holes, transparent areas, for example, from camera. That's all possible, so please let us know. I'm sure we can develop the best solution for you. On stock, we always got cover glasses in thickness from one millimeter up to six millimeters. The great advantage, advantage of that is that we can make the touch panel for you very quick for the development and you can check the performance as soon as possible. So please keep that in mind. All right, we already know a bit about the cover window. Then there's a sensor. The sensor and the cover window are usually optically bonded. That means there is no air gap between the cover glass and the sensor. There is only optical glue. The touch sensor could be made of glass or from a film like this, so it's bending. In simple words, the touch sensor is a combination of conductive material, which acts as the touch electrodes, and that's Ido, with a substrate, the carrier, that could be glass or film. The typical structures are listed here, that would be GG Saido, GG Dido, GF2 and GFF. And the structure could be determined by the application or just the available technology. Then we get the sensor and its fundamental construction uses two the electrically separated layers of Ido. Those layers are configured into rows and columns, so it creates the matrix. The functionality is achieved by scanning along every axis, identifying lines of highest capacitance. The projected capacitive touch panels uses conductive of the human body, so the position is determined by intersection of those two lines of highest capacitance. Please remember that projected capacitive touch panels respond to the lightest touch. So there is no need to force your finger into the cover window. I assure you that will not help to get the touch point. The sensor ends with the electrodes and the electrodes gather and manage data for the touch controller. And the touch controller is one of the most crucial decisions you're going to make during the design of your touch panel. There are two major uh, groups of the touch ICs that would be commercial grade and industrial grade. The commercial grade touch ICs are the cheapest one and they are dedicated for the mobile phones, tablets and so on. Although as the mobile phones changes every six months nowadays, there is a high risk of low availability later on, as well as the support. On the other hand, you get industrial grade controllers that guarantees 10 or even 15 years of availability. Those industrial grade controllers are also implemented in the Riverdy High Brightness IPS line that is available on our website. The industrial grade controller that is Ilitec in our modules allows for great water performance, the work with the gloves, in, with the dust or other harsh environments. Please look it up. 
And that would be it for today. Thanks a lot for watching and see you at the next video.